One of the world's most studied paintings, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, has another layer of mystery added to it. A local graphic artist used an old artist trick to reveal what he thinks are hidden images in the painting. More now on Chris Coffey's Viewfinder. Ron Piccarillo is a graphic designer. About a year ago, he picked up a paintbrush and created his first oil painting. That experience opened the door to a whole new appreciation for Renaissance art. Anything they had to do with art, always been passionate about it. Ronald's first series of paintings reveal his direction as a painter. I love portraiture. There's something about picking up someone's personality and playing with it. Ronald also learned an old artist's trick. He looked at his work from different angles to get a fresh eye on its characteristics. In, in my world, every single angle matters. One day, while researching Renaissance art, Ronald applied this artist's trick to one of the world's most famous faces ever to grace a canvas. I did that with the Mona Lisa. Ronald says he found imagery in the background of the painting. You know, if you look at this, you have a lion's, I call it the roaring lion in the top right there. We have an ape's face right there. And then we have a buffalo head right here. At that point, it kind of struck me as like, well, you know, something's going on here. This is a little bit too coincidental um, to not have been talked about before. For hundreds of years, Renaissance art has been analyzed by historians and scholars. The study of animal symbolism in Masterworks isn't new, but Ronald sees an opening here, a way to re-engage the average art lover. As an artist, I know every single part of my painting, so I knew anything that I saw in that painting was not accidental. Ronald's found little to support his ideas about the Mona Lisa. There's a lot of stuff I have marked in this book. and Until he turned to da Vinci's own writings. came upon this passage that talked about these four animals, the lion, the ape, um, the horse, and the buffalo. I've, I spotted three of them, and I thought that was very, very odd. With some effort, Ronald found the fourth animal in the Mona Lisa. We have a mule head right in there. It was overwhelming, to say the least. I mean, I, you know, I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe I was a little crazy. Why these animals? Why the Mona Lisa? Why has no one seen these images before in this way? It's definitely something that's been missed, or maybe was kept secret. I don't know. Um, but what I can say is that we should definitely, you know, take a second look at these paintings and his passages. And, you know, it kind of sheds a little more light on um, the, be the beauty of this artwork. Ronald's discovery has also changed the way he appreciates his own art. You know, I think everything we do changes who we are and, you know, how I may paint. And so, yeah, it's going to change it a little bit. 